Welcome everyone to our weekly video. You're seeing this on September 23rd and I'm here with one of our fellow parishioners, Marcy Hopkins, yeah. that I think a lot of you know from the parish and from Wyckoff in general. Mm -hmm. uh, she has a television show on Saturday mornings on WLNY, mm -hmm. we love New York, um, <laughs> at 10 a.m. It's called Their show is called Wake Up with Marcy mm -hmm. and it really is a beautiful show. She gathers a lot of people from different areas and expertise to, to speak about it issues that your yeah. audience is interested in. Absolutely, health and wealth wellness and self-development and we had you on and which you had was me fabulous on. thank you thank you marcy thank mm -hmm. you thank you and she's also the author of this incredible book chaos to clarity mm -hmm. and it really is an autobiographical work that mm -hmm. she wrote about her life mm -hmm. and her journey from addiction mm -hmm. to freedom ultimately yeah. spiritual yeah. freedom and it's a beautiful book i've worked with a lot of people, I've journeyed with a lot of people who have been on that same yeah. path that you were on to health and holiness and, mm -hmm. and wellness that you're yeah. on right now. And this book I think many of you will enjoy very much and I just wanted Marcy to be able to share not only her life but really the research. You put a lot of research into this book. I did, book, so. I did and I just want to say there's always somebody in our family or someone that's close to us that is touched by addiction. I, I myself have a lot of addiction in my family. I used alcohol to cope with a lot of trauma from my past. Mm -hmm. And I share a lot about that until I had my breakdown mm -hmm. and I no longer could cope with alcohol. Right. It was no longer working yeah. and it was affecting my life, my, my family life, my work. Mm -hmm. uh, it was just affecting the person that I was and I no longer liked the person that I was. Right, right. So when I began my healing journey, I found so many beautiful ways of breaking free from my past, mm -hmm. breaking free from the pain that I yeah. had endured, learning forgiveness, finding self-love, living in gratitude, Amen. and Amen. also truly turning myself over to God and now being so spiritually fit and faith leads the way. Amen. And Amen. I will tell you that the, the one thing that we must find for ourselves to make any change in our lives is self-love and lead with love. God is love and we are meant to feel love for ourselves and extend that to others. And when we are hurt from our past and we have all of the programming and the pain from our past, mm -hmm. it is very hard Amen. because we shield ourselves and we build walls around our hearts so we won't get hurt. But when we do that, we are and enabling us from not having strong relationships with ourselves and with others and identifying who we really are and who is best for our lives. And that's what I want to help other people to find. I want to help other people to break free from the generational cycles, break mm -hmm. free from the pain, understand that you know, bad habits and coping with negative, you know, su substances is not the answer. But to truly heal, mm -hmm. find faith, find the spiritual connection, and find who they are and what lights them up. That's where the happiness lies. Amen. And that's a great summary of what you can hear mm -hmm. Marcy say next Monday night, September 30th, 7 p.m., we'll be in the church. Mm -hmm. I'm sure we're going to get a lot of people there. And whether you are struggling with addiction yourself or have, but as you said at the beginning, in my family, there's a lot of addiction, mm -hmm. a lot of alcoholism. And, you know, seeing family members trying to break through that cycle is something mm -hmm. so important. And then my work as a priest early on when I studied my MSW degree, what I love that Marcy does here, she weaves the reality of her own story, the good, the bad, the ugly, all those mm -hmm. things that happen, and what a beautiful place you've landed in now, a place of I wholeness, live, yes. and you're able now to share your journey. She explains AA very well, the 12 mm -hmm. different steps, mm -hmm. how you break it down. Mm -hmm. So I encourage all of you, if you're able to join us, um, please do so next Monday, September 30th. And afterwards, Marcy said she'll stay around to do some book signings, yes, which yes. we're excited about that. I'll bake some cookies and brownies. No, I Love won't do that. I'll buy them. I'll buy them. <laughs> you don't want my cookies and brownies. <laughs> 
better not good. But please join us. Uh, feel free to do so. And Marcy, thank you for being so brave mm. to write this. I mean, it's really brave of you to do this. And thank you for being so generous of sharing your time with us as parishioners. And I'm uh, grateful to do it. And I just want to say that it really has to do with our mindset. Mm -hmm. And we must break free from the pain of our past. And I, I help you to do this. And I will say that even if you don't have addiction yourself, this book can help you to understand what somebody else is going through in your life. Mm -hmm. And maybe this is just the one piece of material that they, you could have lying around that maybe they'll pick up and maybe it can make a difference. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you, Marcy. Thank you. Thank you, parishioners. We'll see you Monday night. Bye. Bye.